Hello friends and welcome back to part two of my 2023 bullet journal setup. If you haven't seen part one yet, I will link that down below and also in the card above. This video just took a really long time to film, so I had to split it up into two videos. Right now, I am working on my book log. So in the previous video, I created the tracker and now I'm creating a box for every month starting from yeah January to December, even though January to February is in my previous bullet journal. So I will still include the books I read from January and February in this spread. So yeah, all 12 months will be a part of this collection. So far, the pens I have used in this video are the Pigma Micron pen in 01 and the Zebra Mild Liners in the assorted pack that is neutral vintage and it has earth tone colors that I really love. This washi tape I got from the Jessica Rowe website. I will link that down below. She has amazing art and washi tape and stationary supplies. I absolutely love her stuff. So like I said, I'll leave the link down below. So I'm using that washi tape to just spruce up some of these spreads before I move on to the next section. Thank you. 
This spread I'm working on now is going to be my 2023 goals spread. So I'm just going to write out 2023 and I'm gonna add some lines and then I'll add some stickers and then off camera, I will add in my goals as of the time of filming. I wasn't sure what they were exactly going to be. So I do have it filled out now and I'm looking forward to completing some of them. Next up for the next few pages is my YouTube planner or YouTube video tracker. Instead of adding my videos to a separate calendar or my same monthly calendars, I decided to do a separate spread for that just to keep it separated and have everything in one space for when I plan to release any of my YouTube videos. And then I will also be creating a YouTube video ideas list. So if there's any videos regarding bullet journaling that you want to see from me, please leave me a comment and let me know what you would like to see. Also. Please like this video if you're enjoying this type of content and please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and it lets me know that people are watching my videos and they like what they see. So please subscribe, please like, and let's get back to the video. I'm using one of the Archer and Olive gel pens to write out the day of the week and the dates. And I did notice it started to bleed a little bit onto the paper if it wasn't completely dry. So I will be using a piece of scrap paper to kind of separate that out to prevent any more bleeding. But once I let it dry, I didn't have that problem. So all in all, I just needed to be a bit more patient. But yeah, so piece of paper will be coming and that is the pen I used for the spread.
These stickers are from the Fancy Floral Sticker Book from Happy Planner, and I really loved how the colors coordinated and turned out. Moving on to the final flip through. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and please let me know what your favorite spread is in the comments below. Please give this video a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.